Hello, and welcome to a new series called House Build. I'm How To Bob, and I'm going to go over some of the details and problems that you may have when building a house. So this is the lot that we're going to be building the house on. It's got a little wooded area behind it, and we've started clearing out some of the trees and brush just so we can get the excavator down and start working in the area and get the survey done. You can see it kind of tapers downhill a little bit here, which will be good. The house we're going to put on here is a 1,450 square foot ranch. So it'll have a walkout and a window on the backside. So we've got a, we started out with uh, pencil drawings here. This is kind of what we wanted the house to look like. So we've got the concept down and got a scale drawing, just a rough sketch drawing of what we wanted the house to look like so once we get the idea of what we want the house to look like we're going to get it surveyed and get that ball rolling we've been down to the county zoning made sure that everything's good we are able to build here checked out made sure there's water and sewer available for this lot and we stopped and got the plat for the lot you can see it's at the end of a cul-de-sac and there's plenty of room to situate the house. You can see where it's located. The setbacks are good on the sides, the front, and the back. So we've submitted our plans to the architect. And here are the plans that just came back from the architect. It's got four pages to it. The first page shows the outside this page will show you the foundation and footers and then we have the construction layout for the framers and then some more details on the last page here so we've got our plans we've got our lot it's all surveyed and we're ready to excavate so we come over and we'll walk the lot once more and see we've got it staked out we laid out where the house is going to sit on the lot and we are ready for the excavator to come. Called the electrician and he got the permit and got our temporary pole set up. So that'll be very helpful when we start the construction. So I've got the excavator lined up to start in the next day or two. And I stopped by the lot one last time and I noticed that there's a pile of concrete here that someone has dumped. Don't know who it was, don't know when it appeared, but I came back a day or two later and there's more. So it seems like someone thinks this is an empty lot. They ran over our stakes and we had to have this resurveyed. So that set us back a few days. And every day I come back over, there's more concrete dumped on our lot. Just tons and tons of concrete. So luckily for us, one of the neighbors caught this video. I told you to stop dumping it over here. This is going. So now, ma'am, I don't know. The owner said dump his stuff in here. Well, what my husband told you yesterday, that guy over there, the people built shit don't even own that. Somebody needs to come and start picking it up. Okay, I mean, like I said, ma'am, I mean. <laughs> All I need I is the side of your. I work for this company, and she said she talked to the owner, and the owner said come back here to the coast. So that neighbor's video was a great break for us. Now we know the trucking company, and we'll have to give them a call and see what they say. To see any of the next episodes of House Build, hit that bell icon and be sure to subscribe. I'm How To Bob. Thanks for watching.